In history, there is a chilling example of a flood that may have been accidentally triggered with a weather weather. August 15, 1952. Near the small town of Lynmouth, England, a massive rainstorm strikes. The river swells. Scores die. It's estimated that 250 times as much rain fell in a period of 24 hours as normally fell in the entire month. The East Lynn and West Lynn rivers flood their banks. According to the BBC, 90 million tons of water sweep down into the town of Lynn. 35 people were killed. Bodies wash out to sea and are never found. Trees are uprooted, forming dams behind bridges, creating walls of water that carry huge boulders into the village, destroying shops, hotels, and homes. Was this just a freak act of nature? The prevailing theory is that it may have been a British military experiment gone bad, as they had been known to be conducting cloud seeding tests around that same time. The British military would be experimenting with uh, cloud seeding for the same reason as any uh, government or, or military because if you can control the weather if you can make it rain you can have a profound effect on the battlefield allegedly early on the morning of August 15th 1952 some witnesses had reported seeing Royal Air Force jets flying in the area at times disappearing from sight high above the cloud deck were they on a routine training mission? Or as some people speculate, were they dumping payloads of silver iodide into the clouds? Silver iodide is one of the most common chemicals used for cloud seeding. It forces the tiny ice crystals that make up the cloud to fuse together. Once enough tiny ice crystals fuse together, they become heavy and fall to the earth in the form of rain. And on that fateful day in August of 1952, Rain fell in record amounts. Did the Royal Air Force embark on daring cloud seeding experiments without the public's knowledge? Did the Royal Air Force embark on daring cloud seeding experiments without the public's knowledge? Some people reported seeing uh, aircraft undertaking strange maneuvers. And it subsequently emerged that there was an uh, experiment codenamed Operation Cumulus, which was indeed an attempt at weather modification. Interestingly, many of the documents relating to Operation Cumulus have disappeared and are not available from the National Archives.